just like nutritious food, exercise, love, and other basic needs, discipline is also vital for healthy child development. Without discipline, children will later find it challenging to control oneself, respect others, or cooperate with peers. Failure to discipline children often results in kids who are unhappy, angry, and even resentful. To those around him, a child who is not disciplined will be in pleasant company, and a child without discipline may find it difficult to make friends. On the other hand, children who have been given firm but loving guidance have more self-control and are more self-sufficient. They are more self-confident, they know their opinions and feelings will be heard and that their parents love them even when they make mistakes. They are more responsible and enjoy being good and helping others at home, at school, and in the world at large. They are pleasant to be around and are more likely to have an easier time making friends. Of course, how they are disciplined is as important as whether or not they should be disciplined. Many parents from other countries who come to Canada have a big problem on the how part. In their country, they are used to punishing their children by beating them. As the law doesn't permit that, they find themselves in a bit of trouble and eventually lose total control over their children. Every parent wants their children to learn from their mistakes and not repeat them. But how is that even possible without a little spanking? Often we equate the term discipline with punishment, but it actually comes from a Latin word disciplina which means teaching or learning. Kids can actually learn from their mistakes by simply teaching them or giving them the tools to learn a better behavior. No beating involved. Punishment doesn't teach the child how to make the right choice. In fact, the kids will only keep doing it knowing this poor behavior gets them attention. So yes, it is possible to drop the spanking. So keep your hands behind your back, your belts tight around your trousers, because it's time for some soft and loving discipline. Just keep in mind these three simple things. First, fill the attention basket. Kids need attention, plain and simple. If we don't keep the attention basket full with positive attention, kids will seek out any attention they can get even negative ones, because to a kid, negative attention is better than no attention at all. Take 10 minutes once or twice a day with each child. Play a game they've picked or redo them their favorite book or take them to the zoo. This positive and proactive way of getting your kids' attention will definitely make them cooperate and seek more positive behavior. 2. Take time for training. Life is busy for everyone, and finding time in your hectic schedule for child training can be a little daunting. Think of it as an investment. You're not only building your relationship with your children, you're also helping them become better persons when they grow up. So take time, encourage them, use a calm voice, praise them for doing something good. Soon, you'll find your child doing the right choices for themselves. Finally. Set limits and stick to them. Kids strive when they have structure and know their boundaries. Be clear about the ground rules and what happens when someone breaks the rules. But make sure that the discipline is related to the misbehavior. For example, if they forget to put away their dishes after dinner, they have to load and unload the dishwasher. Cleaning their room because they didn't do their homework is not related. Most importantly, be consistent. Follow through every time with the discipline when kids break the set out rules. So remember, discipline is good. It is a teaching learning experience that helps a child become healthy in all aspects of life. Punishment is bad and can only worsen the child's negative behavior. So just keep your cool, be firm, and give your child the attention rules and boundaries that they need.